welcome back to the channel. Tiffany Quinn here, and this is day two of your four week summer shred. We'll be going in for 12 minutes on the abs and the shoulders. For this workout, you only need a light set of weights. So two to five pounds is gonna be perfect for this workout because we are gonna be sculpting the shoulder area as well as trimming the waistline and strengthening the core today. Now make sure to grab your free guide before we get started. It's gonna tell you exactly what workouts are coming up and when. And don't forget to like the video so I know you're ready to get going and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the notifications to come. All right, guys, let's get going. Okay, everyone, getting started with our workout in about 15 seconds, but first, let's just get into position here. So I just wanna come into a V-sit position. Remember, we did this on day one. Flatten those feet onto the mat. Now, gently grab both of those weights in your hands. We're gonna bring the arms forward, palms facing down, and our first exercise today is gonna be knee crunches in, alternating each side. In three, two, one. One, let's get started on those knee crunches. So squeezing those abs in, shoulders back and down. Right now we're warming up the lower core area as well as those shoulders. Now if you are a beginner with me, no weights today or just something really, really light because you're still focusing on form here, which is gonna be more important than the weights that you're using. And you're still gonna feel that burn with or without, but just lift that knee in towards the chest. We're doing 45 second exercises today with 15 seconds rest between, and I am gonna guide you the entire way through. And if you can, I want you to try to hold through those rest periods when I tell you to hold the position. Keep going, guys. Just lift that knee up as high as you can for five, four, three, two, and hold. All right, you're gonna hold right here in this position if you are able to. And our next exercise, you're gonna turn the palms in. We're gonna bring one elbow in towards the waist to the side and then alternate over to that other side. Let's get started. So if you came out of position, I want you back up now and keep those feet planted on the mat. Now you may need to stick them under a couch or under a seat, no problem. The goal here is to keep your core tight and we're working the shoulders, the back and the chest right here. Squeezing those arms back, following your eye line, and almost tapping the mat with your weight or your hand if you're not using those weights. Come on, guys. So we are gonna feel that burn in our core. It's gonna start to strike up in about three minutes. So you wanna stick it out until the end to get those results. Keep going. For five, four, three, two, one. Now come to the front, turn the palms down, and hold right here. Okay, you can release. So we're gonna come down and do some alternating dead, dead bugs. So for this, come down to the mat, now squeeze your core in tight. We're gonna lift both hands overhead, gently lift both of the legs up in the air, and alternate each side, dropping below. If you wanna make this harder, you're gonna move both arms. So as that leg comes down, that same side arm comes down with it. Squeezing the abs super, super tight, breathing with every rep, and the rib cage is down, the core is tight, and your back is flat against the mat here. Good job, so we're off to a really good start. I'm starting to feel it in my core, so I hope you are as well. And after this, we're gonna stay right in this position here for our next exercise. Guys, think right now what kind of results you wanna get, how you wanna feel by the end, and know that every single second and every single rep you do right now, right here, is gonna make the difference. Five, Four, three, two, on one. I want you to hold it right here. Now gently bring your hands down to your sides and lift the chest up with the rib cage down. Chin is tucked to the chest. We're gonna pulse right here. So just arm pulses. Really drop those shoulders back and down and focus. You're focusing on the core and the shoulders. Facing straight ahead. Legs are both held up. Beginner, if you need to, just drop the legs down and pulse it right here without those weights in hand. No problem. But squeeze that core in tight. Okay, we're doing an amazing job. If you can, if you want the more advanced, straighten those legs out and keep on pulsing. Nice, slow, controlled movements today. Working on that core strength for five, four, three, two, one and bring the arms in, bring the knees in towards the chest, just give them a hug for me, and gently lower those feet to the floor. Woo, how did that feel? You're feeling it, right? Okay, so next we're gonna bring those legs back into the tabletop position. The arms are gonna shoot up overhead. We're gonna alternate toe taps, so toe tap down, toe tap down, 
and then we're gonna fly out towards the side, almost gracing the mat with our elbows and going back into that alternation. Let's go. So tap and tap and open wide, squeezing the chest muscles at the top. So this is working your shoulders as well as the chest and working that core. Now make sure that back is flat against the mat. If at any point you feel your back lifting, just don't drop that toe as low to the floor because it's more important that you're working your abs than how far down your leg goes, okay? Just because you're hitting the floor doesn't mean you're working the right muscle. So keep that back flat, imprint the spine, rib cage down. All right, guys, we're almost through this exercise, which means we are hitting the halfway point. Keep on going through this workout and see the results that you get. Tap down, tap down, open wide one last time, and bring it in for me. Now bring those elbows in towards the waist. This time we're gonna have the feet planted. The hands are gonna come right to the center of the chest. You're gonna lift up, press to the ceiling, twist to the side, twist to the side, and come down. Let's get started. So up we go, pressing up, palms facing in, come back down, twist with both of those weights, or no weights at all. Either way, you're still working that waistline. This is gonna hit the obliques, the side ab area. So really work for it and try to get back as far as you can. The further around you twist, the more you're gonna feel it. Now, every time you bring yourself back down towards the ground, I really want you to control that movement. So we're not going quickly down, you're squeezing those abs, coming down vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting up, Press towards the ceiling, back towards the chest, and twist, and twist. Okay, amazing job, everybody. We're almost there. Let's take it one more time up. Press up, and over to that side, over to that side. You can release that hold. So this time, I actually want you to put the weights over to the side, because I do want you to practice this without them. So we're gonna come into a high plate position here. You're gonna stagger the feet, lift the arm, and we are going to rotate around. Now as you do this, I want you to lift up through the hips. So you're lifting up through the obliques, through that waistline, as high as you can. Beginners, you're right on your knee right here. So you can stay on that knee, twist it around, extend that long, and bring that arm up overhead. Wherever you are is where you're meant to be right now. The whole point is just to get those results, to make progress, and you don't have to be amazing at everything off the bat. All it takes is showing up, the consistency, and the discipline. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Now come to the center of your mat into a high plank hold, and just hold here for the last three, two, one, come down to those knees for me. All right, just stretch those arms out quickly for me, and we are gonna go into a down dog with some shoulder taps. So for this one, back to that high plank position, we're gonna lift up through the hips, come back down, and then tap and tap. Let's go. So lifting the hips up, pressing the heels towards the mat, squeezing those abs in tight, coming forward, nice straight line from head to shoulder to back to butt, Lift up, bring it down, and tap your shoulder, tap your shoulder. Now as you do this movement, I want you to have minimal sway here. So you're really trying to gauge the abs so that as you lift that arm and work that shoulder, you're not rotating side to side, which is also gonna work the core. So that is how you wanna do this move. Squeeze the abs in, squeeze the glutes, and let's lift up into that downward dog, coming back down into that high plank, tap, and tap and hold for just a second, come down to those knees. Now from here, we are gonna grab that weight again. So you can go two to five pounds here is a safe bet. Beginners, you can do this without or with a water bottle. We're lifting up right in front and then out towards the side on our knees. So stay nice and strong right here. Head is facing down towards the mat, lifting that, that arm only to shoulder height. So you don't know if you need to go any higher than that. Squeeze that shoulder muscle as you lift up and just press through the opposite palm to hold your stability here. Abs are tight, facing down, and only three more exercises to go and then you've completed the workout. So let's just keep pushing through and getting those results. Now remember, I want you to do this workout two times through so that you can actually see a difference. Lift up and bring it down for five, four, three, two, 
one, and release that arm down to the mat. All right, over to that other side. We are just crushing through this, guys. But we do have to do that other side, especially once you've worked one side, because it'd be like having lopsided eyeliner if we didn't, right? No one wants lopsided eyeliner. I know I don't. I've spent enough time on the wings. Let's go. So bring that weight up right in front, down to the mat, and out towards the side. Nice straight line, really gauging those shoulders and engaging that core. This is going to be a such a great workout for you, especially if you're trying to trim that waistline and get some shoulder strength in there as well. We are sculpting the shoulders. You don't need super heavy weights here. If you feel like you're dipping as you bring that weight up, it's a good sign that the weight is too heavy. So you just want to go with something a little bit lighter, sculpt and strengthen. Lifting up, bringing it down, out towards the front, head facing down. Core is tight. One, two, three, four, five, six to eight guys, seven and eight. Release it down. Okay, no weights for the last two exercises, yay. And then we're gonna come down to our back. So for this one, we're doing one side at a time, coming back into that tabletop position, imprint the spine, engage the abs, lift up, hands behind the head, and this time, we're going to extend one leg, bicycle in, extend the arm, and tap the toe. Might take you a second to get the motion up. That is no problem at all, because the next time, right, the second time you do this workout, you're gonna say, I know this move. I know exactly what I'm doing here. So you're tapping that right foot with the left hand and bringing that elbow to the knee, not the knee to the elbow. So you're trying to keep that 90 degree angle in that knee. Here we go. Just a few more to go. You have one more minute after this. You are going to make it through. Keep that elbow wide and tap that toe. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, ignore the timer. Five, four, three, two, and on one, you can release it down. We're gonna switch over to that other side. Ignore the timer because I'm sure we started a little bit late there. And bring that elbow out towards the side, extend that leg, and we're gonna crunch it across, extend the arm, and reach for the toe. Really try to reach for that toe, and really try to twist across. So you're squeezing your oblique muscle for this exercise. We are right at the end. Get those results. Get what you came here for. Use the time that you showed up for to do what you need to. Are you giving it your all? Because I want you to feel like you just showed up. This is the first exercise, and you're just as motivated as you were in the beginning. Keep going. I know it burns. I know it isn't easy, but we want to get everything we can out of it. Five, four, three, two, one, and just give me one last oblique twist, right across, and release it down. Okay, guys, make sure to do the cool down from the links below, and I will see you for day three. Congratulations, you made it through day two of the Summer Shred series. Now don't forget that I want you to do this workout and all the workouts from this series two times through, making for a total of six workouts per week. Now I just wanna remind you that I did give you a free guide below. It's in the links in the description. It'll tell you exactly what workouts are coming up next and what to expect. Day three, we're gonna be going in on the glutes and the abs using both weights and resistance bands. So we'll see you for that workout, but before you leave, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on the workouts to come. Guys, have a great day.